Hello everyone. So today we will see an example of agglomerative algorithm. So this is the question. So uh, uh, we will see an example of agglomerative algorithm and we will plot a dendrogram using a single link approach. So uh, in the question we have uh, been given the sample data items and the distance between each data item in a matrix form. So in order to solve this problem, uh, we have to follow certain steps. So I have uh, written these steps uh, over here. So we will go step by step. The first one is we have to first find the minimum distance from the matrix. So uh, we have been given a matrix. So uh, we will consider the matrix like this because uh, we will consider half of the matrix since since distance from uh, a to e is same as distance from e to a so uh, since the distance from a to e this one is same as distance of e to a so we don't require this part so we will consider only half of the matrix because anyways uh, these are repeated only that is why first we will consider half of the matrix right so and we will first find the minimum distance from this matrix so the minimum distance as you can see is from e to a or a to e and then comes b to c so first we will consider a to e or e to a so first we will uh, consider the minimum distance matrix which is uh, e to a and the second step is we will draw a dendrogram by considering by considering data items having the minimum distance which is e to a in our case and merge them to form a cluster so the second step is first step uh, we found the minimum distance second step is we will uh, merge those two item those two data items having the minimum distance and we will form a cluster and then we will draw a dendrogram okay so like this so this is the distance we will consider it as because distance is one minimum distance between e and a is one so we will put one over here and we will uh, join we will merge e and a to form a single cluster that's it second two steps find first finding the minimum distance second is uh, joining uh, those two data items having the minimum distance and drawing a dendrogram simple the next is third step is to form the new distance matrix now next step uh, since uh, we got a cluster now so we have to create a new distance matrix so now this time e and a will be merged and will be considered as one item so we will draw a new distance matrix and we will merge e and a to form one item and rest will be uh, as it is the remaining items will be c b and d okay so previously e and a were different these all items were different now uh, since we got the minimum distance so we merged e and a to form this and the rest is as it is now we have to find the minimum distance between these two pair e a to c e a to b and everything like this so this time also we will consider only the one half of the uh, one half of this matrix because next half is similar will be similar to this so uh, we will find uh, these all part so the first is distance between e a to e a which will be zero and the next will be distance between e a to c so uh, we have to find the distance between e a to c b and d okay so how we will find it uh, we will consider distance of e a from c e a from b and e a from d like we have to find distance of e a from c e a from b e a from d or you can say distance from e a to c e a to b or e a to d we will find this row this column so the distance of e a from c will be distance of e to c will be which will be minimum of distance of e to c and e to c e to c and a to c like this so distance of e to c will be from here what we got distance from e uh, e to c which is 2 so e to c will be 2 distance of a to c distance of a to distance of c we got 2 so this is 2 so minimum of uh, from here we got 2 from here we got 2 so minimum of 2 over 2 will be 2 so distance between e a and c that is between e a and c will be 
two. Like that, we will find the distance of each item from every other item, and we will form a matrix like this. Okay, and uh, the same step will be repeated again and again. The next step will be again same, finding the minimum distance from the matrix. So here the minimum distance is what between B and C, which is one. So what we will do, we'll merge B and C and form a dendrogram. Okay, and since the distance is one, so it will be as it is. So now we have two clusters, which is E A and which is B C. Okay, now the second uh, second step is done. We have uh, drawn a dendrogram and formed a cluster. Now the third step is to form a new matrix. Now the new matrix in new matrix, these two will be considered as one. So uh, what are the items we got? First is E A. The next is B C, and the remaining one is. Only D. So again, we will find the distance of uh, each item from each other. So uh, in third step, what we will get, we will uh, then we will what we will do, we will do the same thing. We will find the minimum distance again, which is two in this case, which is between E A and B C. So E A and B C minimum distance is two between E A and B C. So we will merge them and form a cluster. So uh, the distance is two. So what we will do. will mark this as 2 and join this like this okay so and uh, finally we will merge ea and bc to form this matrix ea bc the remaining will be d ea bc remaining will be d now since there is only uh, one distance remaining over here so uh, we will merge d also with all the things that is ea bc and d we will merge with other clusters the distance is 2 so this will remain 2 and thus the dendrogram is formed that's it for the video uh the pdf of the sum will be in the description below and other videos also will be there in the description below do visit our site for more examples it will be in the description and thanks for watching